2023 sneaker collection we're back it's one of our best videos um, on our channel our 2022 sneaker collection video was one of our best ones so we're back at y'all we have copped a lot of shit this year a lot um so yeah we're gonna do mine first and then we're gonna hop over to logan's apartment his and uh yeah man hopefully you guys enjoy like comment sub if you haven't already and let's get into it. we got a long video So this is my sneaker room. If you want to do a little 360 roll. Holy shit. Show them what we're about to get into. Try not to step on any pairs over here. Trying not to. We man. tried to get the uh, the looksy boxes knocked out before. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Which ones are we doing first? Excuse me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pardon. Uh, I got a lot of shoes, man. Um, so I do this every like once or twice a year. This is what I call right here the chopping block. Um, I go through my collection and I look at everything and I say, what do I really, really need? And I typically will get rid of a few pairs. So this is the chopping block right here for 2023. Getting rid of uh, a little over 10 pairs right here. Um, these are still part of the collection as of now. They will be posted up here soon. Um, so stay tuned for size 11 and a half, 12 gang. Y'all are gonna eat soon. Yeah, well, we're gonna hop into these real quick because these, I guess, are the ones that least that are least important to me because I'm getting rid of them. Um, so yeah. Uh, we'll go through these really quick. Uh, New Balance, Raw Amethyst, Teddy Santis. These are cool. I don't know why you got those. I, I still like I, st I like these, but I I have too many pairs, and they're kind of hard to wear. Um, black and white 85s. Um, we'll get to the reason why I'm don't ha I, why i getting rid of these here in a minute. Um, just to sum it up, I have the OG 85, so I don't need the retro. Neutral gray. Same thing. I have the OG 85, don't need the retro. Breads, same thing. Have the OG85, don't need the retro. Even though I do love the 2016 bands, man. But I have two different pairs of breads, and I really don't think I need them. Um, shadows, I don't really have a good reason for this one other than that I don't wear them that much, ever. The shoes, we camped out for those, it's crazy, bro. Yeah. Literally this pair, too. Like, literally, oh shit. Literally, literally, literally this exact pair, too, is the one I camped out for. I wouldn't give them for that fucking reason. <laughs> Just, that's, that was a crazy. I don't need them, man. I really don't. Like, there's other shit. Like, there's a grail I'm trying to... There's a couple, like, grail grails I'm trying to get. So, like, I gotta narrow it down a little bit. 2017 Royals. I have 85s. Don't need them. Mocha 3s. Really cool. Um, every time I think about wearing these, I end up just going with the Amomineer 3s. So, that's kind of why I'm getting rid of these. Uh, Taupe Union 4s. Beautiful colorway. I never wear these. A big thing for me is um, if I don't even look at them and even think about wearing them, like somewhat very, so like somewhat often, I'm probably gonna get rid of them because this is a shoe I probably haven't even considered to wear in like the last year. I haven't even put these on, so I don't know, man. It's a good shoe for sure, but I don't need them. Like honestly, I don't need them. I don't wear them. I don't. I don't even think about wearing them. That's that's the problem. If I don't even think about wearing them, it's a problem. I don't need them. Um, so yeah. LA to Shies, these had a good run. I wore these a lot, but I think it's time to hang them up. Don't need them. Great shoe, but I gotta narrow down my ones. I have way too many ones, so I'm just gonna get rid of those. I'm off fours. I think I convinced myself that I like these. I really don't, <laughs> honestly. I mean, they're not bad. It's not a bad shoe by any means. I, by any means. I mean, I don't think they're, I don't think they're that, I don't, I don't think they're whack, but I definitely don't need them. And apparently there's a new Alma 4 coming out this year. So I hope, I hope they do it right this time. Yeah. If it's like the mock-ups, we'll definitely, I mean, I'll definitely not regret getting rid of these cause I don't need those. And then this is a double up bin five. I have another pair right there. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one. Cause uh, this was a 12. They fit me massively. Found an 11, got the 11. So yeah. Uh, yeah, selling the bin fives because I got another pair. These are just like some Nike runners that I have. Sean's Stussy 2013 Air Max. I fucking love these, dude. Love these. I wear the hell out of these. These are so dope for real. And then this one might be on the chopping block. I'm not sure. OG Off White Prestos. I've never liked those. Oh my God. Come on, bro. I really like them, but they age terribly. They They wear really bad. I, I've always thought those were whack. I probably will sell these honestly. It's, this is another one that this is another one that I was really on the fence. I wore them today, and I think it kind of was like, all right, I, I really don't. <laughs> they kind of look weird on feet, man. It's just the Presto. I don't. They have like the foam posit laces. You know what I mean? Where it goes like all the way across the shoe. 
not foam paws. I'm thinking of another shoe, but yeah, it's like I don't, I just don't like the laces and. Human races. Yeah, yeah, human races. Yeah. Good shit. I don't know why some faux pas it, but yeah. They low-key do look, they do give me like that human race. I don't know, just cool shoe, super comfortable shoe, but I I, I really do not need these, man. <laughs> these are all like my miscellaneous runners that aren't Nike. Um, right here, recent pickup, Salomon, Hidden and Wise, I like these. I like these. <laughs> Next year. They'll definitely be there. <laughs> The salmon. Uh, hey, I, I like those. It's just a phase, bro. Okay. It's just a phase. Uh, Jown, Montreal's. Take a second to uh, appreciate these. This is a uh, nice. crazy grail. Um, I didn't even realize it at the time when I bought them. But I just a, uh, just a subscriber to the channel DM me and said, "Hey, I live in Montreal. I hit on 11 and a half. Do you want them?" And uh, I was like, "Yeah, sure. How much?" He said 500, and I was like, "Damn, dude, that's a lot for a 550, like for a New Balance." And uh, I ended up pulling the trigger, and let's just say these went up like crazy, crazy. Like, it's a little bit ridiculous. Like, what they go for now, never, I would never own them for that. Um, but yeah, they're dope. Great shoe. I'll probably never get rid of those. Uh, most recent Jown release, 2002R. Sick. Super, super good colorway. I rock these all the time. I don't love, love the 2002R, but this is a really good one. I think these are super clean. Um, uh, Wave Runner. Y'all have seen this a million times. Best easy of all time. Um, uh, Jound Asics. One of my favorite shoes in my collection. I love these so much. Probably one of my most worn shoes in my collection, especially this year. I've worn these like crazy. I low-key regret not getting the white pair while they were like super cheap because these went up like crazy. These are like a G now. For real? Yeah. I swear to God. They go for like a thousand dollars now. Used pairs like seven fifty seven. Easily stupid, but yeah, I love the shoe. I paid 200 bucks for those, so <laughs> yeah. Um, what are these called again? 1906 R's ALD 1906 R's. These are dope, definitely. I like these, super cozy, cool colorway, little ALD action, pretty dope. Um, Jound Green, it's probably my favorite Jound shoe. I really, really, really like these, man. These are super, super clean. Just the shade of green is so nice, man. I love these. So, yeah. Probably my favorite John shoe. Um, 992 John Pack. Gray. Forest Green. Which one's y'all's favorite? Let me know in the comments. Brown. I mean, clay. For some reason, they're called gray. I don't know. It's gray. Yeah, it's definitely more of a brown, but yeah. Really sick. Both of these. Love them. Never get rid of either of those. And uh, lastly, this is kind of an if you know you know pair. Stussy, 990. Cool shoe. Eric's got them. Um, I got these off eBay for like 150 bucks. It was actually a steal. Um, but yeah, the only Stussy mark on them are like branding is on the insole. Where? Just on the literally just on the insole. Yeah, Jeez. yeah it might be right here rubbed off too. But I yeah. Took mine off. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Cool 990, cool 990. Uh, these came out a while ago actually, but yeah, I got them on eBay for 150 bucks and I like them. <sighs> One of my favorite little sections in the collection right here. Oh God, start here. Yeah. Uh, CPFM Nike s section in the collection. Um, overgrown. Let's have a special place in my heart, man. Chopping block, dude. No. <laughs> yeah, you wear those all the time. I throw a lot of, throw a lot of shit with the chopping block in this room. <laughs> I like these, man. These are sick. No, you don't. I do. So, I really do. You like that they're CPFM? Yep. Yeah. Here we go with that argument. <laughs> if, you, if you change something about it, you wouldn't like it. Yep, it's true. Uh, CPFM Flea 1. These are super sick. Um, this is a 12 and a half, and they're still small on me. I originally had a 12. It's at the store right now, actually. My 12 is. And uh, that one was terribly small on me. This 12 and a half got listed up. I was like, let's cop it, see if it's any better. It's a little better, it's still really small. These run ridiculously small, it's so annoying. Um, but yeah, I love this shoe. If these ran more true to size, I'd wear the hell out of them, but they unfortunately don't at all. Uh, we got the Fleet 2 pack right here. Faded Spruce and Black pair. Actually, I wore both of these this week. Both of them, love them. I love these, dude. So good. Sneaker of the year, 2023. 
sneaker of the year right here, 2021, uh, 2022, the Flea One. But yeah, here's my sneaker of the years. Love them. If I were to pick one, Loki be the black. Loki like the black a lot. I wear them a lot. And then last up for the little CPFM Nike collaborations, the uh, white and black Air Force. Love these. Great shoes, man. Love the little CPFM insoles too, man. Those are yeah. always a, it's always a nice touch, right? Love these so much. Never sell these ever. Never sell any of these, honestly. I love all my CPFM shoes a lot. She kills it over there, man. Oh shit, what the fuck? I forgot one. Uh, last up. <laughs> the CPFM um, Swarskis, Pure Platinums. I hype beast heavy on these shoes, not gonna lie, man. Uh, really bad flip flop of mine. One of my, one of my most notorious. Um, I love them. Raul loves these. You love these, right? Yeah, you, you called me crazy for liking them, and now you have them before I do. What really sold me is we had a pair at the store, and I would see them every day, and I was like, damn, dude, these are low-key nice. And I would get them out and look at them every day. I was like, damn, these are low-key pretty tough. And slowly, slowly but surely, I convinced myself that I needed them. Now the pair that I'm hopefully selling all these pairs for over here is the green. I'm gonna try really hard to find those. Um, I really, really, really want those. The green, um, friends and family. Those are hard. Savarskis. That's my favorite CPFM like Nike shoe, like by far. Those are so tough. Yeah. I would just swap a couple of these over here. My runners? No, I would swap. I, I would take out the band and replace it. You'll with see why I need to get rid of the bands. I have two pairs. I don't, I don't need three pairs of breads, man. Like it's a little, it's a little bit ridiculous. I'll keep the good pairs. Sell the mid pairs. Shout out Luxie Designs. Everyone's about is about to start asking where I got my boxes. These are all from Luxie Designs. They are a, a little bit pricey, but I think they are well worth it. Um, they're, they're, they're just the, they're the best display boxes for shoes on the market. They got like a really nice magnetic door open, and it's like a, an acrylic. It almost looks like a glass. So I really really like these. Like I said, they are a bit pricey, but dude, I think they're well worth it. That's kind of why I've stalled on getting the whole room because they're just, they're a little they're a little much. But Does you have like a code or something? Oh yeah, uh, use my code Matt A10, I think, and I get 10% off on their website. I believe. I believe that's my code. Um, I'll double check and have Raul pop up the actual code on the on the picture on on the screen right here. But yeah, um, before y'all all ask, yeah, that's where I get mine. Logan gets his um, shelves from IKEA. IKEA man. Before y'all. Billy bookcases. Billy bookcases from IKEA. I'm sure you, a bunch of you guys are gonna ask where we get our displays from. There you go. Now you know. Um, start off over here. Ben fives. This is my personal pair that I am going to keep. This is size 11. Um, shout out Landon. He uh, hooked it up on these. Good shoe, man. I like these a lot. Um, definitely, if you know, you know pair. Especially nowadays, people don't really appreciate this kind of stuff. But I love these, man. I've had I had that pair for a few years now, and uh, yeah, it's just the 12 was huge on me, man. So I got this. I got this 11, and I tried it on. It fits me much better. Those fit really big, in my opinion. Uh, off white five pack right here. We got the muslins in the sales. Y'all have seen them. Don't need to get them out. I'm gonna get these out because I love these so much. I'm off fives. The I always get these mixed up. Dusk, right? Dusk. Yeah, dusk colorway. Really, 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 really like these. Shout out me for putting you on. Shout out all for putting me on. Um, <laughs> this is probably yeah. This was my honorable honorable mention, right? It's a good one. Yeah, that was my honorable mention for the top five sneakers of the year. I really like those. Um. Got the off-white Air Force set. I have a Brooklyn on the way oh, that'll go in, that'll go in here. So I got Brooklyn's coming, so that'll be nice. But we got MCA, MoMA. I'll let you guys see those out of the case because it's a beautiful one. Probably my favorite one. MoMA, Lemonade, and yeah, we'll have Brooklyn um, here in like probably the next couple days. But uh, last pair I'm gonna need is the Complex Cons. That has been a tough one for me to get, man. Uh, I've tried. I really have. Just can't seem to find that that right pair, man. I got, a pair got posted up on uh, eBay the other day. It was actually for a decent price, and I hit them up. I was like, hey, bro, any, any flaws or anything? He's like, actually, I just decided I'm going to keep them. I was like, okay, thanks. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> it was like so annoying. I was like, whatever. But uh, yeah, uh, Stussy Air Forces. Logan's got these two. Beautiful. Really, really, really like these. You would wear these, man. Great shoe. 
Uh, next up, Tiffany Air Forces. Kind of random, honestly, but Everywhere. really, really good shoe. Nah, these are cool. These are built really nicely. Quality's insane on these, man. Cool shoe. I like them. I got them for a pretty good deal at the store. It was a walk-in whenever they were first coming in. I have. I have one of those. <clears throat> Next up, the Kaz joints. Gray. Black. Y'all seen them a million times. I don't want to get them out. Uh, Off-white fours. Again, seen them a million times. Don't want to get them out. Yeah, I'll get the DBs out. I'll get the DBs out for sure. Dorm Becker Air Jordan 4. If you know, you fucking know. Can you find the box of these in the closet? Yeah. Oh, that's fucking good. Because that's actually really cool. You might have showed that last year. But... Yeah, I don't know if I showed this last year, but for the new viewers that didn't watch last year's, we'll grab something out of here in a second if you can find it. It's super sick. But yeah, DB4s. That was quick. Um, this box is signed by all the children that were involved in the Dorm Becker Nike collaborations that year. And... Um, I believe my boy Isaiah made the fours. Shout out Isaiah though, man. You did amazing on these. My favorite, Dornbecker, by far. Um, next up, couple of off Noir and Guava unions. Um, do I, the, the case can, it, you can see yeah. it good, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna get every fucking pair out. But yeah, good pairs. Uh, Pure Money, love em. Crispy ass pair, lot 50. And lot one down below. Y'all already know. I mean, I'm sure y'all seen these before the a million times. Yeah, the two, the two best of the of the lots. There's all, all the off-white dunks I need. I got rid of all my other off-white dunks. Just super unnecessary. Those are the two I need. I'm good. Next up, Platts. Traded my solars away at Got Soul Dallas. Um, so I am still on this hunt for a solar. I got rid of that last pair because it's a little bit on the more beat side. Um, I really like to have my pairs clean. I wear all my stuff, but I want it clean. Um, so yeah, that pair was not the cleanest. So I got rid of that one, traded it for a really, one of the craziest pairs in my collection. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I did that trade. But yeah, we still got the solar, the plats. And yeah, I'm still on the hunt for a clean solar, 11 and a half or 12, if anyone got it. I'm off three. My favorite three of all time. Is it bold? I feel like that's a pretty unanimous thought. I feel like a lot of people will agree with that. Except for like the old heads, they'll be like, nah, hell nah. White cement. White cement, black cement. Yeah. I mean, they're, those are cool, but bro. That one's... This is just perfect, man. I got all of them, so... Yeah, I got, all, I got all three of them, so it's all good. <laughs> I got the black cements right here for y'all that are going to disagree with me. And I've got the white cements right here with y'all. Just for the ones that are going to disagree with me. Y'all are covered. Everyone's covered. Damn. Uh, frag three. Uh, I wear the hell out of these. This was on the choppy block for a second. Then I was like, you know what? I wear these way too much to get rid of these. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, good shoe though. I wear those way too much. I was I was seriously about to get rid of them, but I was like, nah, dude. I, I wear those way too much. Uh, Trav fours. First Jordan collab from Travis. Good one. A little loud. I uh, don't wear those too often, honestly. But uh, gotta have them. Yeah. Feel like you're fit right now. Yeah, low key. Yeah, wouldn't be bad one. Uh, sand fours. My pair is actually still pretty solid. Um, I wear these like once a month to make sure that they stay wearable because I don't want them to start crumbling. I wear them like at least once a month. Um, this is a, these came in women's sizing. So this is a 13 women's 11 and a half men's, which is super, super rare in this shoe. And uh, yeah, I mean, I love these. <laughs> I don't know why they make, like, why is this a women's colorway? Like, you know what I mean? Just make men's and... Seems pretty neutral. I mean, I guess, yeah, it looks like a women's colorway. Beautiful. They got a little teal hit on the back too right there and then right here as well. One of my favorite fours of all time. It's a crazy, I don't know if that's a bold statement or anything, but this is probably one of in my top three favorite fours of all time. I love these so much, man. Logan brought up the th uh, thought of a retro. I mean, I wouldn't mind it, but I love these the way these look like kind of aged and cracked and stuff. These are cool, man. I really like those. Um, Next up, a lot of people's sneaker of the year. The SB Jordan 4. Y'all have seen these a million times. Goddamn times, I'm not getting those out. Uh, 2019 breads. Seen a million times, not getting them out. I will get these out though, because this is my favorite Jordan 4 of all time. The White Cement Air Jordan 4 2016. The perfect retro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
That's the booty we look for right there. Oh, yeah. Ain't, ain't no booty better than that. <laughs> that ain't a fact, brother. Military Blue's got confirmed. Nike Air on the back. Yeah, so uh, uh, Military Blue will be somewhere on the shelf next year. Can't wait for that. Probably have a double up of those, honestly. Wow. That's gonna be so it. hyped. It's going to be a good fucking booty right there, man. <laughs> <laughs> good. So those are the Nike Air, man. That's what we like, right? Um, next up, not getting these out. Y'all see no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Dior's. <laughs> Dior Lowe's. Uh, shout Kalen. These were his dad's, so shout your dad, Kalen. Not you, uh, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he sold these to me like over a year back. It's a while ago now, but yeah. Dior lows. Really still want the highs, um, but these were a good price, so I had to scoop them. 11 and a half is not an easy size to come by, so whenever I saw those for that he had them for a decent price, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to grab them off you, man. Um, next up, Frag High. A lot of people's, what's happening? <laughs> what y'all doing? Just sitting here. Okay. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. All right. Uh, Frag Travis High. Shut up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Frag Travis High right here. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, a lot of people hate these. For real? The Blue Heritage. That's what I call them. <laughs> uh, Frag Low. We're going to burst through these Travises. Yeah. Y'all are good. Frag Low. OG Mocha High. Travis Low, OG, Reverse Mocha, my favorite pair, probably. Yeah. Phantom, Olive, and Off White Twos. Dang. Wow. Holy Flying shit. through them. Uh, we're gonna take some more time over here on this SB shelf and uh, right here. So just don't worry, this isn't this isn't gonna be like a super quick thing, but uh, all the yeah. All the stuff you've already seen, we're gonna blow through it because you don't need to see more of it, right? Uh, Union, little set right here. I've got it from my favorite to bottom. Well, these two can be definitely be interswitched, kind of just when the seasons change, you know, kind of just always changing for me, these two. But honestly, these are my three union it's right here and probably in the current order, these are my favorites. Number one, number two, number three. Um, then we got my off-white Jordan ones, Chicago, UNC, and Euro. I'll, get the, I'll check the Euros out for you guys. I mean, you all have seen the other two, but I'm sure you've seen a lot of these too, but. Euros, these are super yellow. I wouldn't mind for a cleaner pair, honestly, because these are pretty goddamn yellow, but it's whatever. I right, it's for a pretty decent deal. Well, I guess now it wasn't that crazy of a deal because the market on the ones is crazy low right now, but yeah. Uh, friends and fam, trophy room. Beautiful. Crazy shoe, I love them. I wore them to our first grand opening at the first shop, so yeah, I mean, those are sentimental to me. Uh, frag. OG, I love these. I love these. I love these so much. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a really, really simple shoe. Show stamp. Give thanks to it, man. Give thanks to it. Uh, next up, pretty much the sole reason I'm getting rid of my 2016 uh, breads. We got the 2011s right here. Much better in my opinion. Um, I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> the cut is way better yeah, than the 2016. Cut, that, cut, that cut on the 2011 just looks like a, looks like a mid. How's this cut for you? Damn. Boom. That's a cut. Slam. That's, cut. No, that's, that's a cut. shit. Slam. Right? How's this cut for you? Yeah, I guess. He has, him, he has them too, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I just, these are beautiful, man. Uh, probably the best quality Jordan to ever release. <laughs> You can see. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but. Horrible! Horrible! Do you see this? Do you see the, the the leather cuts on this man? Yeah. It is beautiful, and then you got the X's all on the inside. Then the really cool like text on the inside on September 1985. Nike created a revolutionary, revolutionary new basketball shoe, and then you got the stamp on the back. Love these, man. Love them. Pass. Uh, okay. Well, pass, broski. You good on that, bro? Pass, broski. Good thing they're not yours, right? I wouldn't even steal them. You don't like those? Like, what are you talking about? You really don't like those? I like the 2016 bitter. Hey, man, to each their own. <sighs> Probably my most proud corner right here, man. Um, well, <laughs> from favorite know. to least favorite? Yeah, we'll, we'll start from, we'll go from the bottom. Uh, neutral gray, 85 low retro from this year. Really, really good. Um, 
quality's nuts. Yeah, I mean, these are amazing. The, the shape's perfect. The, the, the slight aging on the sole's perfect. I, I really, really like these a lot. Um, yeah, great shoe. I've been saying this all year, but second best retro to drop this year to the Reimagined 3s. Uh, Nigel's, fantastic shoe. Worn the hell out of these and you can't even tell because they come pretty beat. But yeah, I love them so much. I'll never sell these. These are so sick. Um, lost and found. Cool shoe. Why am I even getting this out without the hell? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> slowing down a little bit right here, but yeah, lost and found. So rare. Uh, yeah. Um, this is like probably my favorite coin. This is this is my uh, this is my pride. This is my pride and joy right here, man. I love this stuff. This is like my shit. So let's get into it. Uh, we'll start at the bottom. We've got the so these are all 1985s right here. This is the next six pairs I'm gonna show you. These are all 1985 like OG pairs. Um, Royal 1985 Air Jordan ones. Beautifully aged. Look at this laces, man. Look at the natural aging on the laces. Is this Fox truck? Yeah. No. Really? Yeah. No. Wow. Those are original. The OG laces, yeah. Super sick. Wow. Pretty crazy. Beautifully aged, man. I love them. Um, these are all pairs I'll literally never get rid of. Um, Bread '85. These are Fox Charlie's. laces. Um, but yeah, you could look. Look how good of a job they do, man. Like. The natural looking fading that they do. If I told you these were all G laces, you wouldn't even like second guess it. Don't they do like a hell of a job? Like, oh, yeah. most people wouldn't know, yeah. yeah. I mean, unless you're like a real like 85 collector, you know, you'd think like, oh, the, uh, those might be Fox Trot, but if you don't know, like, you would have no idea. Um, but yeah, I love these. This pair has like writing on it from the team that it was issued to. Oh, does it? Yeah, oh, shit. Pretty crazy. These come with box too. The box is at the store. I don't have to show you guys, but yeah, these have the box too, which is pretty crazy. This one is probably my favorite 85 in my entire collection, and probably top five in my entire collection of my favorite shoes. The 1985 black and white Air Jordan ones. Um, these are beautiful, man. These are so nuts. This is probably my favorite pick up, pick up this year. Dope, Top three. It might be my favorite. It honestly might be my favorite pickup this year. They say that the Royal is the rarest of them all, or is it the USC? It's probably these, man. Well, I was gonna yeah, say somebody. Yeah. Somebody had said it was the USCs or something, but I was like, I've never seen like. It's probably these, man. Yeah. Well, out of a lot of the ones that I have, out of yeah. all of them, probably like the Storm Blues. Oh yeah. The so. Storm Blues, Black Toes, Shadows. Those are all insanely rare. And then like there's like some metallics that are like almost friends and family like oh, yeah are that like basically samples um but yeah this is probably one of my favorite shoes in my collection and my favorite probably my favorite pickup this year just pillowy soft collars soles are completely flexible like the aging on this is like just like the, the, these shoes leave me speechless man I, I love these so much i got them for a great price i think and uh yeah i will go to the grave in these man I will go to the grave in these. But yeah, that's, this is why I'm selling the 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 retro. It's gonna be a sick ass fit in your coffin. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, UNC's. Probably my second favorite. Um, of my 85s. Also pillowy soft collars, and super flexible soles. It came like this. I don't typically put like sole protectors on my stuff, but they came with these on there, so I'm just gonna leave them. Um, these are also Fox, Fox Trot laces. Again, Fox Trot, you guys do an amazing job of reimagining the, uh, vintage laces. But yeah, man, these are beautiful. I got these two years ago now. One of my, at the time, one of my stupidest financial decisions. It was really dumb. <laughs> I had Vanessa give me a loan of like $1,500. So she paid half of them. And then I paid the other half and I like slowly paid her off. So she was my credit card. Um, back in the day <laughs> uh, now. Yeah, shout out Vanessa for that because without her I would definitely not have those honestly wouldn't have a few of these pairs <laughs> I'm good now. We're good now. But yeah, but back then man god damn she honestly helped out a lot um, neutral grays This pair's crumbling a little bit Loki need a new one damn. Not a good sound You hear that oh. got the cracks <laughs> It's weird though because it's only like really hard on this part of the shoe, but like right here. It's soft 
for your sweat, probably. No, but on this shoe, it's different. On this shoe, it's the opposite. On this shoe, it's soft right here, and then it's hard right here. So it's just, it's weird, man. These, these, these all age differently and all age kind of weirdly, but I love these, man. I wouldn't mind a cleaner pair. If I come across a cleaner 12, I'd probably snag it and just put these at the shop. Probably just for display. I don't even think anyone would buy them, but yeah. Um, these are, all these 85s are like super, if you know, you know. There's a, only a, a pretty small handful of collectors that regularly buy 85s. So, you know, I mean, they're not the easiest movers. If I were to take them to the shop, we have a few pairs at the store, but people just ask about them. They're just like talking points, you know what I mean? Uh, next up. Start it all, man. Lost and Found. The Lost and Found 2022 Air Jordan 1. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, OG 85 Air Jordan 1. Beautiful condition, in my opinion. Um, this is how an 85 should look. I wouldn't want them any more beat. I wouldn't want them any cleaner. This is like perfect for me. Exactly how these look. Um, beautiful. Beautiful. I overpaid on these honestly, but that, that was worth it. There's shoes that I overpaid for and I know it, but those are like, it's okay. You know what I mean? I look at it every day and I'm happy. I'm not, I don't regret it. Um, Next up, probably everyone's favorite section, SBs. My favorite stuff right here. This is my, this is my wall right here, man. If I had a, if I had a house fire, I'd grab all these like this, <laughs> and I'd run out with all this stuff right here. Um, we'll start at the highs. Core lines. I'm gonna have to get these out, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. Core lines. My favorite movie. Probably my favorite Dunk High of all time. These aren't technically SBs before. You true sneakerheads in the comments, try to correct me. I know it. <laughs> I know it. Um, not technically SBs. This is technically a dunk, but yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful shoe, man. I think these did these perfectly. One day I'd like to have a, one of the prop pairs just for display kind of thing. Probably wouldn't wear them, but yeah. Uh, next up, I've had the shoe for like four years now, four or five years. Probably my favorite SB high of all time, the Ferris Bueller's. It's it's between these or the Dooms, honestly. It's really close, but yeah, either the Dooms or the the, the Bueller's are my favorite. I love them, man. Dooms. This is why I want to get your shit a little bit more worn, because when it's not, I got these almost like I got these like as passes DS, and do you see how bad the sole step is? Pretty bad. That's why you got to get your shoes like a little bit more worn, especially when they're aged this old. Like you got to get them a little bit worn in a little bit, just because if the glue is just like left alone for years and years and years and then randomly you put a foot in it and walk all day in them this is what's gonna happen badly so yeah unfortunately these are soul stepping pretty bad i don't care though i'm gonna keep wearing them i might just get them re-glued i have got a homie that does re-glue so i might have him take care of those for me honestly next up skunks classic pair i feel like a lot of people uh associate sb highs with this shoe right here right this is like a classic you got the pouch right here Kind of what started the whole pouch thing. There's another pair that I can't remember the name of, but there's another pair that did the pouch thing. And, uh, but I feel like this one's a little bit more known for that. Um, the OG like 420 release. Don't smoke at all, but yeah, gotta have them. <laughs> uh, Uncle SB Highs. Beautiful. Cool shoe. Wild shoe. Yeah, I love them. I love these. Super sick. I don't wear them too often. They're pretty hard to wear, but they're really cool. Uh, Huff Highs. The lows are cool. That just came out like a couple years ago, but it doesn't get better than this, man. The Huff Highs. Beautiful, beautiful. Picked both of these up this year. The ones I'm about to show you. Again, we talked about in the pod our favorite picks up, pickups of the year, and these are definitely going to be in it. The 03 Supreme Highs. We got the blue, we got the orange, I don't have the red. I don't love the red, they're, they're cool. I mean, I'll grab them just to complete the set, but I don't need them, need them like that. I really wanted both of these. Um, I'm a true 11 half 12. I had to get 11 in both of these because the 11 and a half or 12 just literally doesn't exist. So um, yeah, don't regret it at all. Um, they are a bit snug, but how often am I gonna wear them, right? You know what I mean? I'm probably gonna wear them two, three times a year, absolute max, so. Um, just for the sake of having them, I'm going to make the 11 work. And these are, these are up there with my favorite SB highs of all time too. Honestly, those are really, really good. Um, 
The blue pair is my favorite out of, out of the three. It's like the it's like a really nice shade of blue. I really really like those. Right under them, you got the uh, Supreme Ramelzi highs that dropped this year. Super slept on. Um, these go for like 250 in big sizes, like money sizes. Go for not a lot of money. So you know, I'd grab these if you like them. Well, they're pretty cheap because I feel like this is gonna be a classic one day. Um, also got these this year. Actually, these came in like a week ago. Papa Bear. Crazy. I don't know. I think these are cool. Cool colors. I like them. Like a good fall shoe. But yeah. I sold something to grab these. I can't remember what it was. But yeah, I love these. Papa Bears are iconic, I th I'd say. I think the whole SB Bear set is pretty iconic. Last year's pickup of the year, for sure. The What the Dunks. Um, dropped a lot of money on these. It was a little bit crazy, but uh, I think it was worth it. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wore these to our second shop's grand opening. And yeah, man, this was uh, also sentimental to me just because I wore it to grand opening, you know. Both of those grand opening days are like some of the best days of my life, so I'll never forget those for that reason. Uh, mummies. Damn, what the hell? Oh, God. Got a little scuff on them. Sucks. Oh, shit. Um, mummy. Probably my favorite Halloween shoe ever, personally. Um, sneaker comp pickup, Newcastle. Um, beautiful. Good colorway. Love them. Super clean. I thought I'd pick an eye on those, but I've been seeing listings pretty high. So, like in my size. My size always surprises me. Every time I feel like I overpaid on something, then I see a listing like way higher than it sells. I'm like, oh damn, I guess I got a decent deal. So, <laughs> um, I paid seven for those at Syracon. I thought I was overpaying, but I just saw a size 11 and a half same condition up listed for 750 so i don't know my size always surprises me uh purple pigeon i love these so much even like when i was really young when i was like you know like 13 14 15 i thought these were i've always thought these were cool like i don't know i i, I always really really like these man even back when i couldn't even like think of affording them um pop uh, baby bear Wild colorway. I kind of just, I don't know. I don't even know if I like these that much, but they're cool. Uh, they're dope. <laughs> they're kind of wild, but I think they're cool. I actually just won the other day. Uh, then you got all my lobsters. Y'all have seen a million, y'all have seen the lobsters a million times. Red, blue, green, purple, orange. I don't need to get them out, right? Y'all seen lobsters a million times. Cool shoes, beautiful. I love the lobster packs, man. Some of my favorite SBs for sure. So beautiful. Probably my pickup of the year. Um, like my personal favorite pickup of the year is the uh, black and white 85s, but this one might be more of a grail, honestly, to a lot of people. The chocolate SBs. Um, beautiful shoe, man. Beautiful shoe. When we walked into that event, um, this was one of those that I was like, oh yeah, I would be done to get these, but I never thought there'd be a shot of it. And sure enough, I found them and um, your size my yeah. size used just how i like them everything so uh yeah i'm super happy with these like i said probably my pickup of the year behind the 85s in my opinion a lot of people might think this is my pickup of the year over the 85s because they don't really appreciate that kind of stuff a lot of people like these sbs so yeah um next up this was probably one of my pickups of the uh, behind my what the dunks this was probably my pickup of the year last year the zoo yorks uh these were owned by dj am I gotta throw that in there every time because it's pretty dope, I think. Um, I have the authenticity certificate somewhere, but yeah, this is a pretty cool pair. Whenever he passed, um, they auctioned off all his pairs, like from his personal collection, and this was actually one of them, like from his collection, and they're worn. I have not worn them, so I'm assuming he wore them. So that's pretty sick, man. My dad's a big DJ AM fan, so he thought that was pretty cool when I told him. Um, Strange Love, also another sneaker comp pickup. Not getting those out. Y'all seen them a million times. Haritos, gotta get these out. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, Y'all seen those a million times. Great shoe. Good SB that dropped this year. Uh, Sneer comp pickup. What was this? 2022. Day of the Dead. Got a steal on these, not gonna lie. Um, my boy hooked it up. We've done a few deals since. He's a good little connection that I made that day, so I'm really glad we met. And uh, yeah, man. There's a couple other pairs in here that I got off him, so he's, he's honestly been 
a blessing to have met. Um, but yeah, the Day of Dads, beautiful shoe. Trail ends. I do not recommend buying shoes off Grailed, but I actually did find these on Grailed. And uh, they were like 800 bucks, which is actually a really good deal for a size 12 and the condition these are in. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but the star loss is little to none. Um, yeah, 800 bucks off Grailed. I was really sketched out for a while. <laughs> um, when they finally came in, I checked them out. They looked good. I was like, all right, bet. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, man, trail ends. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's got like a snake skin. Not a lot of people know. Yeah, it's not just like a brown SB. I mean, it really is, but it's got the snake skin. Cool little swoosh, too. Beautiful shoe. Beautiful shoe. Um, next up, Futuras. Got these off my boy, Colin. Thank you, Colin, for this uh, extremely clean pair of Futuras. Really cool. Nice little colorway. It's like an aqua, like, marine colorway. Different. It's not like a typical blue you really see in any other shoe, so I like these. Pretty sick. Um, Jedi. Got these off the same guy. Sold me these. That's what I was talking about. Got a few pairs off him. Um, he sold me these for a really good deal, too. I can't lie. And, uh, yeah, another shoe I'll never get rid of. These are beautiful. Threw the uh, tan laces in mine just to make them a little bit more wearable. But, uh... Neon laces go cool too. I mean, I think it kind of looks more like iconic with the neon laces. I honestly might throw the neon laces back in these, but beautiful shoe. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've picked up a lot since last video or since last collection video. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally different. Um, Heineken's, shout Carson for these. Again, these will never leave the collection. Love them. I got these for a steal too. I'm not gonna lie. Carson hooked the fuck up on those for sure. Homer's. Not a ton of people know about these, honestly. This is an old pair, this is an 03 pair. Um, this is before the tongue was like super, super fat. But yeah, super good shoe right here, silver box era. Uh, people just know the dunk. Yeah, yeah, it's not like a super well-known one. People, I mean, and the little SB, like Simpsons packs, they've done the Marge, they've done the Bart, and they've done these. These are by far the best, in my opinion. I don't care for the Bart at all, and I don't care for the Marge at all. <laughs> um, so yeah, Homer's, beautiful. Born and Raised, a couple of new releases. I'm not gonna get these out. I've seen them a million times. Born and Raised SBs. Shoe of the Year. Raul Shoe of the Year, the man behind the camera. Um, Supreme SB, Ramel Z. My SB of the Year this year. Love them. Uh, Black Star SBs, Supreme. Cool shoe, good little homage to the 03 pair. Nothing compared to those in my opinion, but nice little pair. Um, shout out the Juice 4K on TikTok. He sold me these. Um, some of y'all might know him as Alex. Good dude. He sold me these for a pretty decent deal. OG all. This is a little bit more worn than I typically like, but this is a 2002 release. So uh, I'm going to have to deal with it, especially for a size 12. These are stupid rare. So yeah, I had to make it work. Paid a grip for them for sure, but honestly, it's market. They go for a lot. Travis SB. My favorite Travis shoe by a mile. It's not even close. Um, the perfect Travis shoe, in my opinion. It's a capital. That's this in cap. In cap. How do you say that? Encapsulates. Encaptures. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, <laughs> this encaptures Travis super well. Oh. Like this is this is like, you know, this whole color blocking the all the materials. This, this just reminds me of Travis. You know what I mean? Like this is a dope shoe. Love him, man. Perfect. Perfectly done. Great job, Cactus Jack. You, you killed it, man. Encapsulates. Encapsulates, yeah. That's what you were trying to say. Yeah. Favorite shoe of all time, the 2005 Stussy Nike SB. The perfect use of pink and brown on a sneaker. Beautiful. A lot of brands and a lot of other shoe releases have tried to do a pink and brown shoe, and none of them will hit like these do, ever. Beautiful, perfect. My favorite shoe in my collection. My favorite shoe of all time. Um, Tiffany SBs. Beautiful. Um, this one is signed by Nikki Diamond. Yeah. Uh, it has replacement insoles because the OG insoles are signed by him. I'm not going to get those out because they're like, it's really high up in the closet. The SB boxes are, but yeah. Signed by Nikki Diamond. Pretty sick. I got these for a steal. I think it's like 1200 With them being signed, that's a dumb steel man um uh, yeah i got those a few years back so i mean market's totally different sbs are like this is this is what's still like booming on the market right now like everything else is like eh 
but this is the stuff that's still like really moving so like all these prices are still going up to this day um pro b olives <laughs> such a pain in the ass to find in my size but some random dude dm me on facebook um basic messenger and said the same thing said he watched the videos and hooked it up man i think he literally just found him in his closet like i don't think he really even knew what he had wow um, but i still paid him a good amount for those it was not a steal or anything um Oompa, shout curated van. <laughs> Love these. Lucky wouldn't mind a little bit of a cleaner pair, but good shoe nonetheless. Love my Oompas. And uh, last up for the SBs. Again, these were sold to me by the same guy that sold me the Jedis. And the Day of the Deads. If you're watching, you know who you are. Thank you, brother. The Shanghai SBs. Um, this is kind of a slept on one. Not a lot of people talk about these or know about these. But they kind of give me like a Coraline vibe, like with the stitching. Yeah, it's kind of like a core line low, you know what I mean? So I really like these and they come like pre-distressed too with like little scuffs all over them Super sick shoe man. I feel like um, I really like these. I wear these a lot. What the hell? What's happening on the bottom? A little mold Is that what that is? No way. It's just like I Think I just stepped on something outside shit. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, but yeah, beautiful shoe and yeah That will do it for my 2023 sneaker collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I think we went through that pretty well, right? It didn't take yeah. that long. I feel like the last video took longer. I have more pairs now. Yeah. That'll do it for my collection. We're gonna head over to Logan's apartment now so you guys can see his collection. And yeah, we'll get into it now. All right, what's going on guys? We're here at my apartment. I'm gonna run down my 2023 sneaker collection. If you guys watched last year's vid, some things might be different from last year. Well, I've gotten rid of some pairs, definitely got some new pairs, so. Uh, Stay till the end. What all did you get rid of this year? Um, I got rid of Fire Red Force. I got rid of what was it? Cactus Jack Forces. Travis, forces. Travis Air Forces. The Sail ones. Mocha Threes. Mocha Threes. Is that it? Off the top, that's just off the top. Man. I'm sure I got rid of more, but that's just off the top of my head. Um, we'll start at the top, man. Still, start right. Um, I'm pretty sure this is how I started last year as well. I think so. 85s. These are pretty cooked, but hey man. How many times have you worn this? A ton. I wear these a lot. Yeah, I love these. I literally love these so much. I don't care. I love how the how worn they look. I wear these wear all the time. Did you get those for retail? No, I wear my shoes. <laughs> yeah, got them for retail. Yeah, I'll see. <laughs> I got them off uh, Dylan's shoes actually. <laughs> and uh, bread 85s. These are a lot cleaner than the Chicago's, obviously. Very clean pair. They have the fox trot laces on them. Dope. Like little faded red. So these are dope. Best 85 rep laces. Yeah, like for real. Like seriously. So I'm not going to go too far in detail on those. I'm sure you guys saw those last year. Nutrigrade 85. These are slept on then. Surprises don't go for more, honestly. Ones are ones are dead. They're in, in the fucking water right now, but I love these. I wear these a lot. Super wearable. I need the lows. I need to get the low versions yeah, of these. Yeah, need the lows. Everyone else has them. I don't have them. And then, uh... Just until they come in use, you're gonna regret buying them. Yeah, I know. Just do what I did. That's what I'm gonna wait for. Bread, 2018. 16. Or, tw yeah, 2016, sorry. But, uh... Grails, man. These are my grails for a long... These are most people's grails coming up back in the day. Yeah. So glad I got these. Got those a while ago. These are awesome. The last sneaker con vid. Crispy pair of shadows. Classics. Some true, Classic. true, true classics. <laughs> these are 2018, right? Those are 2018. Yeah, these are, okay, these are 2018. Back to back to back. 2017 Royal, 2018 Shadow, or, you know, 2016. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2016, 2017. Yeah, back to back okay. to back. Yeah, he's right. So, uh, me and Matthew camped out for these. I'm sure you guys have heard the story a million times. I'm not going to go into it, but <laughs> classics, man. I will always have those in my collection. Yeah, I would have camped out for no reason. <laughs> uh, Royals. Crispy, crispy pair of Royals. Great pair. Uh, I honestly don't wear these a lot, but I do like these. Gotta respect the classics, man. I love these. Well, the one market when we kept out for the shadows is literally like how it is now. Just to kind of put it in perspective for you guys. Yeah, it was, just, it was dead. And like, literally, there's no <laughs> reason to do that. I love you skipped one. a row. Oh, shit. A really important oh, row. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, hit that last shirt, too. Oh, oh not good. Okay. <laughs> really, really important row. All right, so, yes. I do have these now, but yeah, uh, yeah. 
I know I said I wouldn't get them, but uh, every time I say I don't want a pair, Matthew said, you wouldn't get them for $100. <laughs> Seriously, do you mean it for... <laughs> It guess, happened. Guess what? It happened. I'm like, yes, Matthew. At that point, yes, I would give him for $100. And guess what? They came in for $100. Dead stock. So market on a new pair right now is like $130. That's pretty crazy. I don't think anybody would have predicted that. Yeah, no. no. I was thinking like $253. $253. Like, that's why I thought they were going to be at for sure. But $130. That's crazy, man. So I got them for $100. Bucks. Hey, at that point, well, it just called me. He was like, hey, these came in for $100. Bucks. Do you want them? I was like, sure. He convinced me. They're for, my, they're my, uh, yeah. <laughs> they're my number two on my sneaker list. So it's like at that point, why not, right? Hundred bucks. They're clean. They're clean. I mean, you don't like the weave thing, you, but the, you. I still don't like the weave thing, but you know what? I'll deal with it for hundred bucks. It's all good. And then uh, two big pickups this year. Probably two of the best. That's probably your two best. Nice probably. little set. Well, other than uh, the one you just got. Yeah, probably. Big pickups this year. Uh, funny story about these. I, these were both the guy, the same guy was selling both of these at SneakerCon, and he had this pair. We came out the next day because I was thinking maybe I was gonna get it, and it wasn't there the next day, and it came into the store. That's, but that it's that. But it was pair this was the one. exact pair I was looking like at getting. Card it came it. into the exact. It, the, this exact pair came in the store the next day with the same card for cheaper. I was <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. okay. I think what was it like eight hundred or eight fifty yeah, or something? Yeah, I think it was eight or eight fifty. So. I guess it worked out, man. So you got the Union, it was just it, at that point, it's just fate. It was you just got the to Union be, so. Jordan One Trio for seventeen hundred dollars. Yeah, it's pretty. Three sweet. years ago, that would have been one pair. Yeah, one pair, like legit. So uh, yeah, black I guess it worked probably. out. Just the black toe. Yeah, just the black toe. This is my favorite one. Everyone says the blue toe fair, but these these are my favorites. For me personally, probably me too. Yeah. They all are just different. Yeah, I guess so. Man. I actually feel like it's a pretty basic So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was an important row, so I'm glad I didn't skip that row. Uh, Travis Wands. A lot of, for me, being sneakerhead, growing up, these were rails, man. People weren't that young. <laughs> People were going to think we were like, saying, oh. like, freshman year yeah, yeah, when yeah. these came out? Well, like, no, that would, well, yeah, I guess it was 2018, right? Yeah, it would have been your freshman year. What was it? Yeah, 2018. Yeah, it was 2018, so these are, this is a big deal, man. I've been wanting those forever. I will always have them. Always. Uh, lost and founds. Not gonna go too far into detail on these. I'm sure you guys have seen these a million times, but great pair. I think Nike killed it on those. Union Dunks. Matthew gifted these to me. Thank you, Matthew. I will always have these. Very sentimental to me. That's a dope pair. Yeah, good pair. Good pair, yeah. Very wearable pair. I wear them all the time. Phantoms. Another flip flop pair. Uh, <laughs> what did I get these for? 300. 300. Used, used, used. Still super clean. Yeah, I see it there. 300. Again, at that point, yes, I'll take it. Why not? Worst case scenario, I'll make a little bit of money on it. So <laughs> it's all good. Uh, reverse mochas. The best Travis Low of all time. I love these. I wear the shit out of these, honestly. They're still in good condition and everything. You Period. can see it right there. Period. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, I love these. Best Travis Low of all time. Sorry, not sorry. Travis Frags, second best Travis Lowe of all time. Beauties, man. Love these. Crazy collab right here. Fire. And bang. The latest pickup. LPU. Latest pickup. So uh, I traded Fire Red Fours, Kex Jack Forces, the Sail Travis Air Forces for these and a little bit of cash. Shout out my guy right here, uh, Matt. Oh, Eric. <laughs> no, not Eric. <laughs> yeah, I helped. But, uh, yeah. I've been wanting this pair for a very, very, very long time. Uh, great movie. One of the greatest animated movies yeah. ever. Probably the, yep. probably yeah. the best yeah, my, movie My personal ever. favorite. Probably that and, like, Fantastic Mr. Fox or something. But that's, like, stop motion. I still, still. Have, I still have Coraline that's over crazy. it. Crazy. Yeah. Well, Coraline, Coraline stop motion, too. This guy's never seen Coraline. I've, I've tried three times. I've fallen asleep three times. I love that movie. I tried. Nice. It's a weird fucking vibe, man. Anyways, yeah, I mean, weird vibe, great shoe. I love, I love that movie. Love that. Movie. Watched that a million times. Got a nice little uh, SB High row right here. It, these, in my opinion, these are the three best SB Highs ever. I love these. Supreme. That's like the only one that'd be like close. But yeah, I, I, I'm with you. No, man. I mean. 
Well, these are my technically these are my are, technically those aren't SBs. Oh yeah, those are skulls. Yeah, don't tie us. Yeah. Still. Hey man. Dooms. Everybody loves these. TikTok shoe right now. Everybody fucking loves these. Not even wore, but yeah, they wore it like a couple years ago. They wore it. Every time I post these on TikTok, dude, yeah, they, they fucking blow up. Blow up. Yeah. I'm like, holy shit, man. Yeah, they were TikTok shoe. Yeah. They did numbers, dude. They did. They just everyone loved them. Like, what? Oh, love them, the dude. Yeah, no way. Those are like five thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> yeah, all the time. Dooms alone are like ten k. Those gotta be reps. <laughs> <laughs> Those gotta be reps. Anyways, yeah, this is a big TikTok shoe, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, dope shoe, man. Yeah, I love them. Wear them a lot. Crispy pair. I got these for like I paid like eight fifty for these. I think it was eight flat. You bought them at the store, remember? Oh, no, yeah. I bought them. In, yeah, I bought them on eBay. Yeah, you bought yeah, them at the, the store, store yeah. on eBay. That was yeah. crazy. It was at eight or eight fifty, and this is before they went. This is before the TikTok hype. Yeah, and then right after that, they blew up on TikTok. So, uh, yeah, man, great pair. So you guys have seen to call it a TikTok shoe. It actually was <laughs> not though. because not because they yeah because people like glazed them on TikTok, not because like everyone had them. Because uh -oh. people would just love yeah, those yeah, yeah, shoes yeah. on TikTok, like, man. Because like when I think of TikTok shoe, shoe, I think of like Panda or like Obsidian oh, yeah, One. I guess. Those are not like any. That's not what we mean by that. That's not what I mean. But you guys get what I mean. If you know, you know. Uh, Ferris Bueller's. Love these, man. I love these so much. This is such a wearable shoe. I would wear these every day if I could. And it's one of your favorite I just don't movies. want to beat them. Yeah, one of my favorite movies. Great shoe, man. Yeah, I'm not going to get into these too much, but yeah. Dope-ass shoe. Travis's best shoe ever. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Travis's best shoe ever. Hands down. Perfect. Perfect from start to finish. From I mean, literally... Down. What would you change about this shoe? Nothing. Nothing. I wouldn't change anything, right? Nothing. The colors, perfect. A little pink swoosh. Little pink. Nice little on the inside of the nice shoe right there. Toss to Stussy. Little, uh, little homage. This to is Stussy. the perfect SB. This is probably one of my top. This is probably top five SBs of all time. It's my top five shoes of all time for me, personally. It's up there. Yeah. For sure. I mean, I love those so so much. I got those this year. Right after we probably filmed the last year's sneaker mm -hmm. video, I got them at the beginning of January last year. Okay. So like really like right after like right after New Year's I got them. Supreme SBs, lows. I would like the blue highs, but shout out Bryce. I got the lows. Yeah, shout out Bryce. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would like. Obviously, I would like those or the orange ones. For now, I'll settle with the black ones. Newcastles. Uh, these were a walk-in. Shout out Chino. That's actually a crazy walk-in. Yeah. They're decent condition, too. I'll take it. I think I traded some stuff for these, too. What did I trade for these? Yeah, you did. I don't know what you did, but you I did can't remember. I, I traded some stuff for them. Some stuff I have in my collection. But anyways, yeah, I ended up getting these. Oh, I traded off-white dunks. Oh, yeah. Good trade. I had off-white dunks. Trade. Yeah, great trade. I, I think I added, like... White dunks. The red ones? Oh, the... The varsity, yeah, yeah. I think it had like a hundred bucks or something, which was fine. I was totally fine with that. But yeah, these are way better. So got these this year as well. Another new pickup for you guys. All of Probies, Eric's Grails. Oh, 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 oh. Whose is better? Probably all these. Weird. These are fire too. Travis wore these. Same. I only have these because Travis wore these. I didn't even know he wore them, honestly. I just like <laughs> <it>. Just kidding. <laughs> These are fire, though. Pro Bees. I don't say about those. Mummies. I love these so much, dude. One of the best uh, SBs. The, the more I wear memory. these, the more I wear these, the more I love them, dude. You didn't like these at first, did you? You didn't either, because we didn't we didn't like the whole the whole glow so that's what we didn't like. I love it, man. I, love I don't these. mind it. Now. It's probably the sickest part of the shoe, I would say. This is the best like Halloween shoe they've made. Oh, oh yeah, by far. Yeah. By far. Well, would Day of the Dead be out like a Halloween shoe? I mean, that's a uh, Dia de los Muertos shoe. It's not really Halloween. These are fire. Just confused them. Yeah. <laughs> All the Stussies. Not much to say. It's a vault shoe. Another TikTok shoe right here. <laughs> Is it a TikTok shoe? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Stussies. Top. Lovely pair. I mean, I'm sure part. you guys have heard us talk about these a million times on the channel, but yeah, this is probably one of the best shoes of all time right here. My favorite shoe of all time. Undoubtedly. Can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. Oompas. Got these probably about six months ago. 
Oaks Zoom in. Been wanting these for a while. Finally got them for a decent price, good condition. I think you only got Suppose them. Suppose so. Gonna go see the movie. Huh? Are you gonna, go, are you gonna wear them? To that shit looks horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so corny. I've been seeing some clips on TikTok. It looks so corny. The Timothy Chalamet hype. I'll go, I'll go watch it. I, Izzy's gonna want to watch it. You know what's sure. Yeah, I know. Izzy's definitely gonna watch it. I'll go, I'll go watch it in these with her. I don't care, whatever. I don't know. They shouldn't have made a musical. Probably would have been way better. Matthew says that it looks corny because uh, homeboy took uh, no, Travis. It looks chick. corny. I sing the uh, clip. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I saw. I already know. Yeah, I'll probably watch the movie in these. Pike um, and Travis's ex. <laughs> hey, Travis. Uh, she didn't. She didn't deserve Travis. She oh, didn't okay. deserve him. Oh, okay. She didn't deserve him. I've been saying that. Orange lobs. <laughs> I haven't worn these a lot, honestly, but I I really do love this shoe. Um, I got these. Right after Daniel got them, uh, uh, on camera, we filmed yeah, last year, last year's uh, top five sneakers. No, uh, our sneaker collection. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it was a combo. No, it was it? it yeah, it was. Uh, right. Yeah, we did both that same day. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, I literally bought these on camera. So this is probably around this time last year I got these. <laughs> we all made the impulse decision and got that. Which was probably a bad call because yeah. a million pairs of used have came into the store in my size and. Yeah, I bought him dead stock for five hundred fifty dollars. So, <laughs> would have been nice to save three hundred bucks. It's all good. Uh, purple lobs, Matthew with the alley oop on these. He got them on Facebook for like three hundred, and he sold them to me for three hundred. So, guy stays, yeah. guy stays hooking up. I don't know what the fuck he's doing in my bathroom right now, but <laughs> stays hooking it up. Drop Nonetheless, the load. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But uh, yeah. are they both in like good good condition? Yeah, or? they're pretty clean. Whoa. Slight, some slight star loss, but now I'll fucking take for three hundred. Not a starry uh, night at all. No box. There go one more for you. Whoa! There go one more for you. I think it'd be competition. What are these? Where did you get these? Don't worry about it, dude. Dang. You just went in my closet and pulled these out? Oh yeah, that's all I was trying to sneak around earlier, and you were like, "What are you doing?" What's going on, guys? Uh, we are here. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Why? What was even the point of that? <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> These are for me? Yeah, man. Thank you, Matthew. Well, there you go. Told you. Stays looking it up. Yeah. Fucking purple pigeons. Wow. I've been wanting these for a, like, seriously long time. Wow. That is fucking dope as hell. Yeah. Well, there you go. This yeah, my go ahead and put it, like, this. right there. Yeah, literally. Right there. All right, and then uh, purple pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, this is a clean fucking pair too. Yeah, I know. Give him that hug. Oh yeah, dude. Thank you, Matthew. Day one right here, man. Merry Christmas, man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. What do you guys think? They look, they look good on the shelf. Oh, SB fucking wow. SBs have grown quite a fucking bit. Man. Looks good. Wow. Looks well. No box if that's okay. It's not okay. <laughs> I'm bad. That's fine. Uh, anyways, moving on. That was dope. Uh, off white fours. I'm not gonna go too far into this, but you guys have seen this a million times. Dope pair. I will always have these. Really great pair. Have this for a while. Cause fours. I need the gray pair. Hopefully, next year sneaker con Dallas, I will find a pair. I really, or I guess, well yeah, next year, yeah, in the yeah. summer. So. Hopefully I'll find a pair. I should have gotten oh, low key. I don't you know, dude. Such a steal, right? Yeah, I don't know. I guess it was fine. Hopefully I'll find them again you next year. You got the Union Trio for less than eighteen hundred. I really, really need that pair. I paid twenty three for my blue toes. I paid eight for my black toe, which is a steal. But yeah, I mean, I'm I on my my trio like twenty five, and I still got steals. <laughs> <laughs> like that's insane. Anyways, moving on. Need the great pair. Uh, Travis Forrest. Great Travis shoe. Always have these. A little hard to wear, but you know, gotta respect it. Yeah. I wish, I really wish you would do another four. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Like a gettable four. I know people are gonna say the friends and family pairs, but like those are not obtainable at all. But uh, like a brown. Please, pair Travis, do another, pair. do another four. Give me a three something. Another SB would be great as well. He literally killed out in the SB. I don't know why he isn't. Or like a high a SB high would be. I've always been saying that SB high would be cool. That would be cool too. Like, like I feel like he'd make that pretty dope too. But who knows with him? I don't know what he's thinking lately. SB four. Uh, other 
low key flip flop, I guess. So sure be it. Be your winner. Uh, I got these 250 used, so again, I'll take it for that. So be it. Um, yeah, great pair, man. Sneaker of the year. Off white fives. I'll go ahead and get the sale pair as well. Bang. Both. It's a hell of a combo. Both. I would say. Both of them. That's a beautiful set, dude. These are fucking dope. Man. I never wear my sales. Really? Dude, I haven't worn those in so long. I haven't worn either I wear of these. these a lot. I haven't worn I either of these in forever. Hours. I think I got both of these dead stock, too. The muslins are better for sure. It was from Malik. You got them both from Malik. No, oh, this pair was from another guy. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, but the black pair was from Malik. Shot Malik? If you know, you know. Shot Malik, yeah. I guess so. But, uh, yeah. Dope pair. Not gonna forge on those too much, but yeah. Great, great pair. Great little set right there. DS. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I need a new pair of these. Cement fours. Oh, breaks my heart to show you guys this. <laughs> They're pretty beat, but... I love these so much. I really need a cleaner pair of these. That's another thing at SneakerCon. I'm gonna need to find a cleaner pair of cement fours. I just fucking suck spending fucking four hundred dollars on a clean pair. Those really clean. Every time you get them, you beat them to shit. I know, but I've had these for what three years. You've had like three different pairs of white cements. I've had these for three years. I've had so many pairs of white cements. I need another pair, again. So that fucking sucks, but whatever. Uh, I got these a while back on Facebook Marketplace for a hundred bucks. <laughs> God. So what? I will take it. OG all box and everything. Is that when they were still sitting? Yeah, that's when it's just oh. market market yeah. different back then, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, market was just different back in those days, but yeah, I will always have these. Dope ass pair, man. Bread fours. Classics. Token unions. Dope ass pair, man. Yeah. Uh, sneaker con pickup. Some light. Yeah. Great pair. Uh, love these. Where the hell out of them? Always will. Sand fours. VNDS. I would wear these more. <laughs> but they literally have to be like this to be wearable. You realize that, right? Like yeah. they literally like have to be kind of beat to be yeah. remotely wearable. And these even still are not really even wearable. They're still like cracking. Damn. There's pretty much nothing I can do about them. So these will probably be hanging up at the store pretty soon. So you yeah. have to get a new pair though. Did you love those? I don't know, man. It's hard to find a new pair. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but anyways, yeah, that's a really dope pair. I wish they would like re-release them or something. I like the mold. You don't think so? I like the mold. Maybe not. That'd be dope, but pure money's super super dope shoe. You don't like these, do you? Yeah. Roll. Uh, I don't think I don't consider them heat. These are so fire, dude. That's crazy. That's I, a crazy take right there. How do you like? What don't you like about so this? Just an all white Jordan four. four. Yeah, I mean, like, what's not to like? Uh. I got a clean pair. As a GR for sure. I remember when those, those were sitting. Shoes. I, those yeah, were dude, sitting for like. A ton of shoes there used to be. A, these yeah. were in outlets. Yeah, these, yeah these were, they had full size ones in outlets. I, when I, I used to work in Pluto's closet, these would come in all the time for like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 That's bucks, insane. and nobody would buy them. I wouldn't buy them. Like, these are so far. I'm so glad I have these. I just back. don't think that they're heat, but uh, yeah, core memory. I remember when they were like, there was they were in Foot Locker and there was a sign above them that said sixty nine ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, I know they are. They were bricks. They're massive bricks. Another Union Four, Off Noir. I'm not gonna go too far into these, but yeah, I mean you guys have seen these. Most painful shoe. Really dope shoe. Yeah, they're super uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> they're super uncomfortable. I made the mistake of wearing these at SneakerCon. Yeah. Biggest mistake I'll, I'll ever make. Yeah, that was a rough day in hell. Uh, <laughs> I'm on my near three. Best Jordan three of all time, right here. Sorry, not sorry. Good take. Second best three right next to him. These are so, so fire. I love wearing these. Those are perfect. Second best three of all time. Reimagined. They did these perfectly. Yeah, those are really yeah. nice. I'm really glad they didn't fuck it up or make them fucking suede or like yeah. make it like super super weird leather satin. they did it, yeah they did satin would be dope <laughs> i need some satin that's some satin. shit they would do so i'm really glad perfect nike did it perfect so thank goodness uh frag threes i wear the shit out of these as you can tell bottom off that guy right there yellowing's pretty bad i don't like it it's just a given with yeah. anyone who has these they know that, yeah. that back tab's gonna yellow so it is what it is try to ignore it off-white forces another walk into the store um 
I can't remember why I traded, but I definitely traded some stuff. And probably, the first deal. and probably added some cash. Yeah, we bought these for like, like nine, eight or nine. Eight or nine no, no use no box, but they're, I mean, they're fucking clean. Damn. Yeah, they're super clean. Anyways, yeah, great pair. No starless or anything. These fit fucking massive though. So that's why I don't wear them yeah. a lot. This is a nine and a half, and they fit <laughs> pretty fucking big. So it's whatever. I try to make it work. Stussy Air Forces. I think Stussy killed it on these. These are super dope. I honestly need another pair because I wear these a lot, but yeah, these are fire. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into this too much. Travis Air Maxes. Some buttes right here. Matthew uh, hit these for retail back in his day. In H Town, I hit him in H Town. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I sold those for fifteen hundred dollars. It's pretty crazy. That was. I bought these for two hundred. Just came to the store. They were unreleased at the time. Yeah, this was before the vault even was open. I, yeah. I sold those like personally for fifteen hundred dollars. A long time ago. Man. Yeah, but the that was at the was softball game, right? Uh, I mean, they had only dropped at that at the oh, at, that's at right. Space Village for that like first come first. And or they like, for canceled the, the they basically. Or postpone the release yeah, after that whole. They after postpone the release thing. for like almost a year. I uh I hit those on sneakers for retail. Oh, you did. And I think I sold them for like eight fifty. That's still insane. <laughs> yeah, but I sold them for fifteen hundred. That's fucking crazy. So stupid. That's <laughs> that shoe is not worth it. That's pretty crazy. Fifteen hundred. I'll take them for two hundred bucks though. Oh yeah, so <laughs> that's why I paid. Sean Weatherspoons. These. I'll always have these in my collection. Yeah, me too. These are just classics. I look up to Sean a lot. I really respect Sean a lot. Oh, shout out Victor for the uh, Sharpie stain right there. There it is, yeah. Appreciate that, Victor. I'm gonna do that every single year we do the Sneaker Force video. <laughs> every single that year. That sucks though, for real. <laughs> it is what it is. That would kill Daniel. <laughs> Daniel's, Daniel Daniel's even, worst nightmare. Daniel wouldn't even be able to live, dude. He'd be done. Uh, Wave Runners, best Yeezy of all time. Period. Period. Straight up. Sorry, not sorry. Beauties, man. Super wearable shoe. Super comfortable shoe. Air Rats. Sands. No, these are the Air Rats. <laughs> these are the Air Rats. Don't get it twisted. It's not even a flex anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> these are all bricks now, but. Okay, bro. These are super comfy. I, I mean, I wear the shit out of them all the time. But, uh, yeah. I'm sure you guys have seen those hundreds of times. The Jound New Balances. I traded uh, Travis Sixes for these, That's I, great. and I got the Travis Sixes for retail. So there you go. Is what it is, man. And that'll that'll just about do it. Oh well, Teddy Santis Sea Salts. My beaters. Oh yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah, and that'll do it. Not gonna go uh, too far into depth. Yeah, man. Oh, you got rid of all your 550s. <sighs> oh yeah, the 550s. Oh, that too. Yeah. Yeah, sorry guys, 550 errors. Dead. Over. Yeah, it's done. Add a, add a, add a, yeah, especially for you. You wore those good every one. day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just, they were just those. so wearable. It was the the green the and the gray yellow. and then the Packer color with the Packer, the Packer colorway. Yeah. They were just so wearable, dude. They had, they, no, they, they had, had a moment for sure. They had a good fuck. Yeah, they for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's a TikTok That's a TikTok shoe. Yeah, that was Yeah. They had a good fucking run. But uh yeah. Got rid of a lot of pairs, got all the new pairs. Let me know what you guys think, man. How I did. I'm trying to get into that point to where uh, I really just want shit that I really like like to wear. Exactly, yeah. So I'm trying to get to that point. I think I've pretty much got it down to like pairs I truly like and I'm, I wear. So uh, let me know how I did. <laughs>